But it's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and I'm back here with just Nate this time. We had to leave uh, Sully and Elena behind while we uh, scouted on ahead. And uh, we're trying to figure out where to go uh, in order to continue searching for El Dorado. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we knew that we were on the correct path uh, because of the clues outlined in uh, Francis Drake's journal. Uh, but for right now, it looks like we're a bit stuck. I'm doing somewhat okay on ammunition, trying to look for more rifle drops. But uh, it looks like those are few and far between, so I'm just going to have to be rocking the pistol, the 92FS for now. Okay, um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and check out the altar area. And... You know, usually in those kinds of movies, uh, you know, there's always a secret underneath the altar, so I'm pretty suspicious of the altar here. And uh, I just want to see what else is around Wait, here. There's something about this. There's the inverted torch again, so somehow this door is going to be important. So let's go ahead and consult Francis Drake's Two journal. Bells resound in perfect harmony. So we've got to ring this bell that's right behind us and the bell across the room. Uh, well, I have an idea of how to ring this bell. There's one and two. Alright, pretty simple. Anyway, I guess my uh, estimations were there were wrong. I thought there was going to be something behind the, uh, the altar. Alright, so it looks like we this path the leads track. back down. We can do this, kid. How the hell does he think he's going to get that statue out of here anyway? <laughs> Gotta love the uh, Sully impersonation there. And it looks like, yeah, it did lead us back down into the catacombs, so... Hmm. And it looks like... Someone's been down here before because there are floodlights already installed. Uh, yeah, it looks like people have been down here before, so let's be a little bit cautious going forward. Oh, hey! Okay. Looks like he's got backup. Oh, geez, these guys are everywhere. Don't really have a clear shot from this perspective. Let's see if I get out of cover. Perfect. Running a little low there. Where's the other guy? There he is. He's here. Oh, hey! <laughs> here we go. Looks like he's got a friend back there, judging from the shadows. Probably aiming a little bit too high. Let's see if I can get this guy to run. Did he drop a rifle? Yes, he did! Perfect! It's been a while since I've done the run and gun, uh, so I decided to pay, play a little risky there. Again, if you're playing this on uh, on anything higher than normal, you know, hard, crushing, uh, it's probably better to, to be a little bit less reckless than I am here in this video. Anyway, uh, we're continuing here through the catacombs, and it looks like it's a platforming sequence here, so we don't have to worry about gunplay. I think this far platform's close enough. Good. So, uh, I don't think I have to use the intermediary, or unless... Ah, this platform's an intermediary for the second one. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and pop up the top. And head through this chamber here. This is completely unacceptable. What do you expect from me, Roman? <laughs> Sounds like Eddie. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that one man could wipe out your entire crew. It's not just Drake, God damn it! I'm telling you, this island is cursed! Enough. Take your sorry mob and go. Wait, you can't cut me loose. You owe me a share of the gold! Your share, Eddie, was contingent upon you doing what I required. You assured me that Drake was captured and the island secure. Oh, this is bullshit, Roman, and you know it! I guess Roman hasn't had many of uh, Navarro's yeah, men get caught in those traps, so... <laughs> I guess Eddie's just got bad luck there. Ow. <laughs> That's a pretty shiny loogie, if you ask me. Remind me again why you employed that superstitious idiot? You wanted someone cheap. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for, I suppose. And what about you, Navarro? Are you worth what I'm paying you? The vault's here. I'm sure of it. 
If Sullivan can be trusted... Which he can't. Look, he knows we'll kill him if he's lying. Don't be stupid. He knows we'll kill him once we find the treasure. He has no incentive to tell the truth. Really, Navarro, sometimes I think you left your brains back in that slum where I found you. I just need a little more time. Chasing this treasure of yours is proving to be more trouble than it's probably worth. I assure you, El Dorado is worth more than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> it had better be. Alright, well, that's a little piece of narrative there. It looks like Eddie's men are on the run, and it's going to be predominantly Navarro's men, which has already occurred. Uh, I mean, we're, we're running more into more and more baddies now, probably exclusively where they're carrying advanced weaponry and, of course, tactical body armor. Did I come this way? No, looks like this is a new place. New floodlights. Texture pop in. Yep, looks like this is the exit. All right. Okay, well, it looks like... Whoa, pretty close call there. I'm guessing I have to wait until it locks into place. Okay, now let's try that again. There we go. We're out of the catacombs, and we're into a new section of the island, new chapter on the Trail of the Treasure. And uh, if I recall correctly... Yeah, there's the church that we were in. I'm guessing, yeah, we need to go over here. Notice how there's interactable objects in the back, like that vine. And um, I'm guessing, yeah, we need to scale and get up into that tower to get into the upper portions of the church that we just had that shootout in uh, in, the last, uh, in the last video, I think. I'm not really sure where I cut it, but regardless, uh, the last big shootout we were in. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get to this vine. And I believe I don't have to build any momentum here, so I'm just going to wing it. Oh, no, I do have to build momentum. <laughs> so let's try that again. Uh, I distinctly remember this place, uh, you know, giving me somewhat of an issue with that jump. But uh, hopefully it doesn't take me too long. So I'm going to try this again, and I'm going to build momentum this time. Huh. Alright, well, that's kind of an issue. But don't worry, guys, you know, if, if this does take me a long time to get through, I will definitely be uh, cutting ahead. So let's try that one more time before I cut the video. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> That, uh, that took me a lot longer than I anticipated, and that was kind of embarrassing. I did start off uh, trying to build momentum on the, uh, on the initial swings before making the jump, but actually, I, I guess I just uh, uh, jumped way too early on my previous attempts. It's actually pretty easy. You can do it in one jump. You just have to wait until you're at the clear apex of the swing through before jumping off uh, from the vine and onto the ledge. So, uh, yeah, with that explanation out of the way... Uh, I guess I could continue. Like I said, you know, most of my deaths here in Uncharted are going to be from these platforming sequences, or most of the difficulties I have are from the platforming sequences. Um, I think, you know, as the uh, series wore on, uh, I, I had less and less trouble with the platforming sequences. I don't know if it's a, a matter of game design, or if uh, I actually just got better, but uh, I distinctly remember, yeah, the, the very first Uncharted giving me a lot of, a lot of problems there. All right, we're dropping into the church now. Whoa! And it looks like there's a gunfight breaking out immediately. Looks like I got him to drop his grenade. I like these guys standing right outside a cover. Makes it a lot easier. I don't have any nades myself. I'm going to go ahead and move up. Take this guy here on the right. Poke your head out again, buddy. Looks like they're a lot more patient than uh, Eddie's been here. At least this this particular guy. This is getting me nowhere, so I'm just going to go ahead and move up. I guess I don't have any good cover there. I don't know what I was doing. Alright, well, I lit him up there, and he is down, so we can go ahead and advance. 
read me? Yeah. Sully, I'm just going in circles here. Well, the girl and I have been reading some of the books down here, and it looks like there's some kind of secret gallery at the top of the church. Can you get there? Think so. Yeah. All right. Give us a call if you find anything. All right. So, um, <clears throat> my earlier suspicions of finding something at the top of the church have just been confirmed. Uh, I'm wondering where exactly they found those architectural blueprints for this cathedral. But, hey, you know what? As long as it gets me to the next point, that'll be perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue on. Looks like it's a fairly linear path. And um, I'm guessing this is this is exactly where we need to go, the upper portion of the church. Looks like we've been uh, running around in some kind of annex. But I'll go ahead and do that in the next video. Uh, until then, like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace out. Mm -hmm.